Okay, hear me out. It's a new show, a new vlog, a new moment here on my channel. It's moms hiding in cars because we can't hide in the bathrooms because inevitably someone is going to pop in, whether it's the dog or I hear the baby crying or my husband pops in. Like there is no place to hide at home. But here in the car, I know I have 12 more minutes of pure me time before I need to go up and relieve the nanny. And so instead of scrolling on my phone because I find that to be utterly depressing, I could just yap and yap and yap. And maybe you will enjoy the yapping. So welcome to episode one of Moms Hiding in Cars featuring me, Mom Lisa. Mommy blogger? Not quite. The thing about mommy bloggers are they're incredible, okay? I mean, there's, like, family vloggers that, like, are really wild. And we've just got that whole case about what's her face who, like, was abusing her children. Like, awful, right? But then there's family vloggers and they've got their own thing. But then mommy bloggers are next level. How they manage their time is beyond me. Like, I talk about her all the time, about mommy in heels. She's like her kids are older, but even when her kids were like babies, she was still doing this. She is constantly post posting on Instagram. She's incredible. She's linking to things. She's trying new things. She's like just pumping out content left and right. And I can barely press record on the camera at this point in my life. Mind you, I've been on the internet for like 17 years, so I think the burnout is real, and I think that the, uh, like, birth and everything has finally, like, hit me, and I've, like, hit a point where I'm, like, I just need to, like, step back for a second and, like, focus on being a mom and figuring that out. Um, not that you ever, like, ultimately figure it out, but, like, I just needed a moment, and now I'm, like, in the groove, so I felt comfortable, like, finally turning the camera back on. But anyways, this is all to say that mommy bloggers are incredible beasts. How they manage to do so many things at once is beyond me. And I have to say, I have learned that I am a excellent multitasker. I think this is such a generalized statement. Don't get mad at me. But I just think like women in general are like really good multitaskers. I was in the shower the other day and the baby was sleeping and I had like made her food and I had cleaned that. Like I had done like a million things and I somehow managed to get in the shower right after I put her down. So I knew like I could actually take like a long shower. And I like exhaled as I like leaned up against the tile and I was like, you are freaking awesome. And that was the first time I complimented myself in a really long time. But I was like, you are multitasking like crazy. The only thing I haven't really been able to do is to like throw YouTube back into the mix. But we're here. We're trying something new. We're switching it up. I consider making a like I'm leaving YouTube video a million times in the last couple of weeks because I've been just doing so many other things and focusing on other forms of work that I was just like, maybe this isn't where it's at. But honestly, sitting in the back of the cart is feeling right right now. And I miss talking to you guys. So how are we feeling about this? If this is like working, I will get all, like a proper setup. But for right now, I'm going old school. As she does, folks. As she does. Anyways, things I've learned about being a parent is it's really hard. You don't know until you know. No amount of like prep could like really truly make you understand what this whole process is. It's a club of like another dimension. And I'm not trying to like, if you don't have kids or you don't plan on having kids or if you're having trouble having kids, like I ain't trying to tell you like you're missing out. This is like its own weird club that like somehow I've entered into. I mean, I know how the birds and the bees, but like never really thought this was going to be me, but here I am. And I have to be honest, I did not enjoy it at first. It was really hard. Mind you, like I almost died, but like besides that, it was just so hard and I was having trouble connecting and really understanding it all. But now, now I love it and I'm like so in love with my child and this is just like next level fun but also next level hard and next level stressful. And like, I feel like I've aged significantly since the start of this. I feel like my dog has aged significantly since like, we've all aged significantly since the start of this, but 
I wouldn't take it back for anything. Um, but that being said, like, talking about mommy bloggers, uh, there's a few, like, mommies that um, I follow who, like, right off the bat, after having their kids, are, like, on the internet being like, this is the greatest thing I've ever done. I've never felt more joy. And, like, I really hope that for them, but I just wanted to make the statement that, like, I call BS. <laughs> but I, I mean, I really hope that for them, but, like, I just feel like that, like, toxic, well, I'm making a generalization again, or I'm, I'm assuming that they're lying and they're just being, like, toxically positive about it, and it really, like, hurts if you are in a space of, like, postpartum or, like, you're just, like, not there yet. Like, I was told that you were going to see your child for the first time and, like, nothing was ever going to be like that moment. And I didn't have that moment. And I feel like not enough people talk about not having that moment. And then it makes you feel even worse about it when you see other people having that moment. Are we having a moment right now? Do you know what I'm saying? Let me check the time to make sure that, oh my God, oh my God, I got to go, guys. I got to go. Um, anyways... So yeah, I, I've kind of been like trying to stay off the internet because I just feel like it so misrepresents the reality of everything, which we all know. But as I enter into this new phase of my life, seeing other women in this stage of my life who are portraying it to be like so easy or so rewarding or so this or so that, again, I hope for their sake that that really is the case, but it's just not helpful for me. It is depressing and the internet is all a lie. <laughs> Except for this. This is all truth. I am truth. Um, what else has been going on in my life? I um, need a haircut so very bad, so that's coming up very soon. I'm tempted again, as usual, to cut bangs, cut my hair off, shave my head, dye it black. Like, I just feel like she needs something new. Um, I still am renting all my clothes. This is a rental. I learned today that the fact that I don't wear socks shows my age. Um, the French tuck is not in anymore. Um, and all these things that I hear about fashion make me mad because I like my old lady style. And therein lies the truth, folks. I'm just getting old. Am I too old for YouTube? Possibly. I have this like voice that rings through my head of a past YouTube friend of mine who would always say like, once I hit a certain age, I think it was 30 and then it was like 40, like I'll never do YouTube. And that like runs through my head as like this like devil on my shoulder being like, you're a dummy and you shouldn't be doing this anymore. And I think that like really prevents me from getting inspired to do new stuff, which is terrible. You need to be careful what you say to yourself and to others because it really does stick, y'all. It really does stick. Sometimes things that like happened to me in my childhood still like, or things like people said to either me or around me, like still stick in my head. You know what I mean? Like someone once made fun of my hairy arms and like ever since I've been shaving my arms. I like really thick hairy arms. And I like think about this as I'm like raising my child. Like she's probably gonna have hairy arms and someone's gonna say something to her and then she's gonna shave her arms. You know? <laughs> Aren't you glad I turned back on the camera watching The Bachelor? Um, except I had watch it over the course of three nights because the minute I sit down at night, um, I can watch like 15 minutes of TV and then I'm like knocked out. Um, my child started eating solids. So that's super fun. Um, I am learning how to like make her food. I'm not doing baby led weaning, but I'm not doing full puree. I'm doing somewhere in between and it seems to be working really well for her. She's like a tank and like can literally eat anything. So far, she just chomps and chomps. She's got two teeth, but those gums are strong and they are willing to go to town so that she can devour anything I give her. Um, we tried peanuts for the first time and so far we're on day three. She hasn't had a reaction to it so we're in the clear with that. Was that terrifying? Absolutely. Did I just go for it? Absolutely. Um, she's sleeping pretty well. Yeah, all is well. Except for the fact that I literally have two minutes and I have to go. And herein lies my never-ending problem. 
or gift. You know what? It's a gift. We're going to turn that around and say that it's a gift, but I feel like I'm just constantly rushing from one thing to another. And I'm just like always on this like never ending schedule. And that is why I'm talking so quickly. Also, I had so much coffee. So anyways, thanks for joining me in the back of the car as I hid for those last 15 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes here in this video. Um, I love you guys. I am happy to be back. If you want to see more of this, maybe I'll invite other moms to sit back here and hide in the car with me. First up will definitely be Tracy who is texting me nonstop and I need to get back to her. Because her and I share a nanny, which is like the greatest thing ever, nanny share. Last piece of advice, nanny share is amazing for so many reasons, mostly because financially it really, really helps out. Um, but that being said, don't nanny share with your best friend because then you can never see them. You know what I mean? All right, see you next time, bye.